Hey guys, I'm at Bucky's and you know what we're going to do today? We're going to try to build a little survival kit or like at least buy a bunch of survival items, see what we can find here. There's a bunch of stuff here, so let's see. Check out this magnetic belt, that's kind of cool. I love belts and this looks like a really doable tool belt. It clicks in here, I cannot open it, but if I push it back and open it with one hand, so it's like one-handed belt. That is so cool. Locked in, push it back and open. Buck has got it all. There's the Yukon coolers, there's Leo coolers. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna buy any of that, but that's pretty awesome, like a lunchbox size. And there's ice pack on top of it. Wow, that is cool. There's a little survival bags, wallets that we need to put back together, little kids. That is what we probably going to get that is awesome but there's also survival backpacks over there and hunting backpacks cool thing is like there's like a waterproof backpack so you kind of need that so this is could be a flotation device or like dry sock that is or even water carrier and it looks like high quality canisters liquid canisters gasoline canisters that is good quality stuff right there ratchet straps flashlights let's get a good flashlight over here Probably a headlamp, three pop for twenty-one dollars. That's all we need, probably. That is great for survival. That's all we need. Comes with batteries, twenty-one dollars. Great deal. Another thing is thirty-seven dollars, but it's actually outdoor age hunting. Pretty good deal. Let's see if we find something good. If not, we'll get that one. Replaceable blade, razor blade. That is nice. Seventeen dollars right here. Good option. Good option. All that is cool whoa shears that is awesome multi-tool shears might be really nice there's another knives wow there's a bunch of stuff okay definitely getting that never seen anything like that before look at that little box over here that's cool but yeah hunting backpack really got a backpack i really like it how big it is yukon we got the dry pack this time instead but yeah that's a good stuff Ooh, survival kit let's grab that so bucky's got survival kits too what else ponchos orange white that is very important let's get an orange one why not Ooh, utility rope that is also nice uh for six dollars that's six dollars as well so a lot of good stuff oh my goodness we got it here glow sticks also six dollars spoon we did not get a spoon before this is 14 dollars. i think it's pretty good deal i like that spoon a four foldable meat uh resting bag that is cool i kind of should get it i don't know that is uh, interesting i don't know nothing about it but five starters wow look at that funky flame we don't need that but it's kind of cool Cause fire, what is this? Interesting, ooh, first aid, little stuff, but uh, we already got a big bag, it's probably a better deal. There's different blades, knife too, but your yeah, fire starter. Oh, that's always good to have around the house, feel. Camping feel, lanterns, ooh, those are nice. I have reviewed so many of these uh, brands. These are nice flashlights and this is like one of those tripod lights. I view that. I can't believe we can get it at Bucky's. That is great. There is a little um, lantern walk light, another lantern. I think I'm gonna pass on that, but that's a lantern fan. That's kind of cool as well. Whoa, camping fire bags. So it's like a charcoal bag. We, we okay. Hand warmers. We definitely need that. I hope they take the one this time. So we have everything to build a survival kit. Oh, no way. They have the utility rope dispenser. That's probably better than the other one for, I don't know how much it is. Probably $11. It's not too expensive. Maybe $20. So I'll probably put this one back. There's more carabiners for $12, but they're not climbing carabiners. So I will keep looking for climbing carabiners, but there's a flint. I love flint. I did not see it at Walmart before. So getting that at Buck is awesome. There's a compass. We need a compass for six bucks. That's awesome. All the Nibu have them at Walmart too. That's a really great option. I really like those brand. I reviewed them plenty. 
oh wow that is cool like a little top clips i have reviewed that super snaps it uh, connects to the top and locks in just like that just like in a picture black is and also there is a top wow that's so cool a regular top you know what we'll get one of each and i'll show you how it actually works amazing our carabiners none of them climbing carabiners but there's a tether that's kind of interesting i grab that tether so cool and there's a uh, Kirin pry bar Ooh, wow a block is real nice we'll take that a kitchen knife that is cool interesting it's only 15 dollars uh, 12 dollars not bad i would say and there's knife 12 13 dollars what else am i missing out here kind of cool i saw like a little Kirin foam right here how much is that we don't know but it is interesting and of course they got some knives kosher nothing special pretty affordable i like that we're gonna skip on that i have plenty of knives and some epic flashlights out here too okay we're back in the house and we got all of this stuff really curious about this multi-tool um what do you call it shears so we got out right here a safety Ooh, assisted beautiful lock it back up so for safety and it folds it back together i never seen anything like that that is so cool only at bucky's i don't know and there's a knife tools multi-tool just like regular stuff multi-tool would have there is all these tools my favorite part though is the shears with the awesome safety right here boom love it Lock it back up, fold it away. Wow, super unique multi-tool for sure. Next, I bought this stuff because I actually don't have one. Right here in, in the house, in this house. So let's open it up. It's a regular top, um, which is important to have. But I really wanted to put to the test and show you guys how these super snaps, the snap clips work. They're very unique so they like a bunch of different like plastic things let's see they open it up and there is a top let's say we stretch it out and use a rope bungee cord whatever and then we just uh, put it on the outside this thing and snap it because it's called snap so it should snap and then we don't need a hole we could just grab it at any corner and pull on the top connect it we don't need this side here we have a hook we could use a hook to connect it or this little uh a hole or right here just so awesome i really like that a lot then we don't have to worry about this uh holes we can snap it anywhere and just take it out love these things what a cool invention then snap it back and ready to go for next time so very good for the top glow sticks let's open it up six inches Ooh. individually packed so it's always good to have for survival kits nice i'm gonna go open them this fire starter is amazing it's only a little bit of powder it's a little like powder like this inside of it and all we need is a little bit a burn time is a long time 10 to 15 minutes that's awesome and it says thousand degrees so really powerful fire starter option and obviously obviously whenever i put it in the survival kit everything i will open everything up to save space there's a striker and this side here is the magnesium right here so shave up shave edge and st uh, sparking edge wow i like the instruction very cool good brand too good brand there is a hand warmers, eight hour hand warmers. I love that uh, fire hand style, beautiful. Good to have that. Okay, snap, um, like a carabiner uh, with a quick release. This could be very useful. Let's see what it's all about. Especially attaching some kind of tools, like maybe this multi-tool right here while fishing and so on. So let's see, I know it's like, safety oh it's on spin so if i don't want it to come off i spin it up a little bit and then unspin it 
and quickly detach it. Wow, that is a stone pull right here. And whenever I wanted to keep it together, just tighten it up. And the whole thing, some kind of metal material seems to be. Like probably aluminum because it's not magnetizable. Beautiful um, swivel quick release. Good option. Oh yeah, I forgot about that already. This is a good adult edge. Uh, they make some cool spoons. And this time we got it at Bucky's. So first of all, let's see how they fold up. Oh, there's a um, frame lock. So very small, very useful. And then open it up, lock it. We got a fork, bottle opener, can opener in here too. Yeah, that's a can opener, bottle opener, fork. It's kind of knife and a spoon, beautiful. And then close it up, very small. I love that so much. Okay, what else we have here? Bunch of little stuff. I mean, kitchen, folding knife. It's probably, I will always have it. And something inexpensive in case I'm going to some kind of, even DSA, TSA, like a Disney have it. And if they see it, I'd have to toss it. You know, you have to go to this uh, security gate boom and universal so beautiful something inexpensive useful open up boxes if i forgot to take it out i love it it's snaps really good it's a buck lock cold that's a good option i can toss it out no problem so that's also everyday carry oh that's a really good deal uh, three headlamps look at all the leds with batteries for $21, $22. I like that. That's a really good deal for headlamps. And it has uh, how many? 300 lumens. More than enough. I just open them up, put it in my survival bag, and I needed one for the house. If lights are out, I can grab that, put it on my head, and have my hands completely open. What I love about these headlamps easy swivel one two three four five so i can adjust it easily up and down and the strap is easily adjust adjustable and the batteries is separate and if i put it in survival situation kit i would keep it separate there's for me just th we don't need super expensive headlamps so this one is like more than enough so this one is more than enough okay poncho Let's open up the puncher. I really love with Velcro holder. Uh, and it's so like net, so it dries out quickly. Like I got yellow, that was like colorless. Ooh, I love it. I love that material. Let's put it on. This is good to have yellow in case other stuff can see me. Oh, it's just, just simple as that, over the head. But I'll get like different color if I want to camouflage. It's good to wear it with the head on like that. Maybe clip it up something, have some kind of clip it, clip it up so the wind doesn't blow it out. Having a head is an advantage for the puncher. Love it, it's really big. Almost kind of like can make some kind of top out of it. Ooh, there's snaps as well. So that's good, hold it up in a minute. What else do I have? I thought I have more stuff again. Oh, the survival kit. There's more stuff. Compass, I bought it to just kind of learn about them. This is nothing super expensive. Those are cheap ones. We really have to uh, figure it out how to use it, how to find two north and everything. Because, yeah, those are cheap compasses. We have to kind of know how to use them. So that's nice option. I really like that. I never seen that before. A little carabiner, and a bottle opener, a pry bar, some kind of like something to scrape, scrape open. Very unique. It can go on a zipper somewhere. Oh, beautiful. So that's why I got it. It doesn't take up much space. Um, also, I grabbed last minute a uh, pack of batteries, AAA batteries. I uh, would keep them in the packaging, maybe cut off the excess of um, paper 
so that way it's smaller but keep it in the package and there is the um, shelf life this one is batteries up to two for leakage of fully used batteries up to two years protect your devices uh, so two years uh, shelf life over here that's good and a little survival kit we go up that last me actually in the beginning over there let's see what we get i love the pouch definitely taking the pouch it's like could be flotation device it could hold water in here it's a waterproof pouch Ooh, nice ice pack we got the hot pack now we have ice pack okay there's a first aid kit in here too those band-aids all this simple stuff gaze um patches tapes everything we need again this is the stuff i'm talking about when we get the survival kit we want to unpackage it all so this is a flashlight glow stick it's kind of cool i like it i know more like for the kids and there's a few other stuff will be here like rope scissors uh, pins visa ooh, thermometer um tweezers yeah a whole bunch of little stuff I would have already have rope so I would take off rope from here more elastic bands um, more bands gaze uh, packs what is it punch or another punch so I would choose pick and choose thermal blanket which one I want to have because we've showed you a video of um, emergency thermal blanket before they always come in these kits so I would definitely take few things out and replace them because I'll have a whole um rope of where is it i'm not filming certain things like that stuff because it makes sense i kind of got it for the house as well because i needed one oh utility rope if i have this utility rope and there's um 1200 feet of it i don't need this rope so i would pick and choose there's how to tie knots and this is a really powerful rope but there is a sensor stain test on it somewhere Oh yeah, 1,100 pounds, so double the power cord. So it is incredibly strong up, I like that. So that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below which store do you want me to go to and try to find survival stuff.